when you're affected by black magic and, and jinn and, and ayn and hasad and all those things, meaning jealousy and envy and the evil eye and all these things, it varies in the type of effect it has on the person based on their closeness to Allah or not. Another very important factor, listen to me. When you have sinned, immediately repent from, uh, from Allah, meaning repent with Allah from whatever you've done, right? Repent immediately. Don't leave that sin and become excited with it. It, it. it lowers your guard. It's like a virus that's coming in your system. It's going to grow. We all sometimes do things that we're not happy with. We have certain weaknesses. Some are major, some are minor. May Allah protect all of us, right? Uh, but when you committed a sin, Astaghfirullah, may Allah forgive me, may Allah grant me, oh Allah, that was my weakness, I really, it's a bad thing I did, I don't want to do it again, and so on. Make peace with Allah immediately. Don't leave that sin for, uh, you know, until you commit it again and again, and you're happy with it, excited. You've dropped your guard, Shaitan will come and attack. You start finding you have bad dreams, you dream of snakes and nightmares, and you, you, you can't sleep, and you have headaches, migraines that you cannot explain. And so much more. These are these could be signs of some effect of a jinn or some form of a bad effect. Remember this: people become impatient with sickness, and people become impatient. If you see a bad dream once, it doesn't mean you're possessed. If you have a migraine once, twice, it doesn't mean you're possessed. When you see bad dreams, sometimes it's got to do with your diet as well. Sometimes it's got to do with your subconscious, a subconscious self. Sometimes it's got to do with too many games and movies that you're watching. Sometimes, uh, you know, you're fatigued and tired. So there are a lot of factors that would contribute towards bad dreams. The same would apply to migraines. Many of us are on our phones a lot. It causes headaches, literal headaches. Uh, not with the relationships, that's something else, but with the screen and the screen time and you're looking at it and all that is not so good for your, for your head in terms of headaches and all that, even for your eyes. So you got to know, don't just say someone did something on me, but you're doing it on yourself by being on your phone up to three in the morning. Uh, and you're doing it on yourself by perhaps, uh, you know, watching movies and playing games for so long. So you need to know this. But if you have a concern and you generally do read your, your prayers before you sleep, you know, Bismik Allahumma amutu wa ahya and so on. Bismik Allahumma wa da'atu jambi wa bika arfa'uha. إن أمسكت نفسي فاغفر لها وإن أرسلتها فاحفظها بحفظك الذي تحفظ به عبادك الصالحين. What a beautiful, beautiful supplication of the Prophet peace be upon him, just as he reclined, where he's speaking about, uh, the, he's starting in the name of Allah, saying that I lay my side in your name, and I shall lift it in your name. Subhanallah. Uh, if you if you decide to keep my soul tonight, then forgive it. And if you decide to send it back, uh, then send it back and then guard it with the guard the guarding uh, of uh, that you would guard the pious with something like that. That's some of that's the translation. So uh, if you've prayed and all that, and you go and sleep and you still have nightmares and you still have migraines and it's all unexplained and you've checked medically and so on. You don't need to rush to Araqi. You can start your own Ruqya. You can start reading. In fact, that Ruqya is supposed to be there because we have two issues. One is to protect yourself. Like I said in the previous episode, protection is better than cure. And the other one is to be able to uh, uh, cure yourself if you have been affected. It does not mean that you are affected. A lot of the times, I'd like to think in my life, 90% of cases have been medical. And only 10 have been perhaps serious issues where something has happened. 90%. But it's, it's on the rise. It's on the rise. More and more people seem to be losing their faith by going to do superstitious things upon people for some reason. Either to break a relationship, to, to kindle the relationship, uh, to fix somebody up and so on. All that you lose your faith in Allah. Uh, uh, and that is dangerous, very dangerous. You shouldn't, nobody should be doing that. Leave it. Don't worry. Don't, don't, uh, you know, don't feel the urge to go and fix somebody up. Leave them to Allah. Allah will fix anyone who deserves to be fixed. 
and try and pray positively for people rather than negatively. We pay, pray for destruction, we want to see destruction, but if we pray for goodness, I think we will have a lot more in terms of goodness. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too, so please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future, inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.